This is my digital scale and I've taken it apart partially already. The problem with this scale is that if you have your AA batteries in there for pretty long periods of time, maybe a month or something, it would tend to drain the battery. Now the idea over here is that I wanted to add a switch. I've done this before where I drill a hole in the plastic and I stick a switch in there so that I can switch this battery on and off so I can completely turn off this device. What I realized after opening this is that there is a switch over here already. The board over here has a reset button and also a high low switch. This is for high volume or low volume. I don't really care about that. So I'm gonna convert this into an on off switch. After opening this up, you can see that the on off switch over here, these are the three positions. When it's on high audio, it's gonna connect this wire and this wire together. Therefore, I can cut this wire off, which I've done so already. Those two wires came out of over here and I've cut it already. I've left a little bit of wire here in case I wanna connect it together, just in case later on I wanna permanently set it to high audio. Over here is the battery. There's a red wire and also a black wire. This black wire over here used to connect to this one. So I've severed it and I'm gonna connect it to these two wires that used to go to the switch, essentially converting the switch into an on off switch instead. So I'm gonna solder this wire to there, this wire to there, and then patch it up and then we'll see what happens. I'm gonna solder this wire over here. You see I have my shrink wrap already on the wire because once I solder this, it's gonna be joined together and I can't put that shrink wrap in there. Melt that together, okay. Now let me do the other one. Shrink tubing actually makes things look really professional. I gotta remove the battery. Now usually for any electronic product, I like to test it out before screwing everything back together. Uh, you never know what goes on. Okay, so it's on, I just put the battery in. So technically, if I turn this off, it's gonna turn off the LCD. Yep, it does. I'm gonna reach back there and turn it on. Turn, it's turned on, great. Turn it off, great. So it is working. Um, I'm just going to put all these screws back in. I'll just put this one in first, just one of them. I want to put this plate back on. I think I can just press it on there and it should come down. Okay, it just pops right back in. Double check that the switch still works. Turns on, turns off, great. Now I'm gonna put all the screws back in. I've had this for several years and the way I always done it before was stick a piece of paper in here and kind of wedge it in between so that it won't connect the battery so that the whole thing won't turn on and then I just kind of close it up. The little piece of paper would stick out over here. So this is a huge improvement for me, um, which I think it's really awesome. I'm finally having time to be able to do something like this. In fact, it's not really the time because it doesn't take me that long. This whole video has been only, you know, from start to finish like 10 minutes. But um, I think it has to do with, you know, the brain being exhausted from working and uh, not being able to think critically and be able to problem solve with, um, you know, with your brain so tired. So here's the last screw. So thanks for watching me adding a switch onto this kitchen scale. If you do this, it may not be the same in every single model, but if it's something similar where it has a switch for something else and you can repurpose, then it's gonna make your AA battery last all that much longer. I think if I just leave it in this thing, it'll only last maybe a month or two or something and then it'll just completely kill it. With putting a piece of paper there, it lasts much, much longer, maybe like a year or something. If you enjoyed this video, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.